going to be Team 1 together with Crusade over on the team. We've got Dumpy Thick as an Affliction War... Affliction Warlock as a Shadow Priest. Basically, Affliction Warlock's in disguise. We'll see you bust as well as Chicago to be first up on the Dragon. Just roaring up a storm with Leroy in the back. Over the Team 2, we got ourselves Drop GT, also the Dragon. Oh, my God. The two champions are going to clash in the middle with Coil Hunt in the back as a Marksman. We got Last Evoker on the Evoker. We have on who and a Feral and Varg over on the... Uh, an interesting hunter spec. I'll let the chat figure out which one, which ability is playing. Chicago gonna blast off for total damage. What was that? Was that just the fattest reflect in the world? What was that? Oh my god, big blasters out of drop 4 GG. That was a good turnaround. Knocking the guy up into the air. Drop where you're looking to be able to maybe reposition around Chicago, leaping over, trying to go for a couple of bloodthirst. Chicago looking for a big knockback. Where the root to follow? Look at this burst. Oh my god. That is so good. Chicago, that was actually so well done. Knockback roots, knockups, big blaster damage, the drop warrior just barely reflects it instead. Got himself another reflect. Chicago better be very, very careful. Stun on drop warrior GG. Big yellow blast, making sure he doesn't get him up and running. Gonna be a knockup. Let's drop warrior. Let's go for a trinket. I'm not really sure if they necessarily needed to. But looks like they got quite a bit of damage over Chicago. Maybe a big bleed build that a Fury Warrior is attempting to play here. Single mining fury on top of it, which is not something we commonly see. Chicago sending a big blaster, massive zap, coursing through the veins of Drop Warrior, trying to see if he can knock him back with a root to follow, reflect this up for Drop Warrior as he took a big lightning bolt to zap it through his entire body. Oh, and a big Elu Blast just dunking on the boy. Well done. I love the reflect in the opener, by the way. That was a hell of a move. I don't know if there's. I think the only way to really like try to reflect it. It's like so weird. I guess you got to get some mind games, right? You got to wait until they do that. Necro Lordy thing, and then maybe try to reflect it. That's a tough one, man. That's tough to like predict. Got us a squall hunt over next as a Mark Switchup Hunter. Chicago kind of trying to reposition. Big rapid fire in the opener, setting us to Chicago, but that's going to be easy for Sunder. Knock and Coil Hunt back with the Death Chakra, as well as a Chimeric Poison. Massive damage on Chicago. Wait, Coil may just have him here. Trying to see if he can blast on Chicago. They have a wall in case they need to. Chicago just trying to see if they can survive with the males from healing. Knocking up Coil Hunt into the air, but I think that actually gives Coil Hunt a little bit of an advantage. At least that's him away from Chicago for just a moment. And Chicago does go on for a quick reposition behind the pillar. Mad kill shots coming through for Coil, though. The man got quite a bit of damage setting out the pet, playing a pet focus build against Chicago, trying to see if they can make a play here. Chicago get a blasted out by those aim shots, rapid fires, hoping to maybe knock Coil Hunt off of the platform, knocking him back with Root right after Chicago, trapped up in a steel trap, breaking out fairly quick, Asunder onto Coil with a stun to follow, do they have no damage? Man, early blast right after, and it's open to reposition away, away from that team too. So far, Chicago's had a hell of a run. Chicago come back up, Wall is ready, Ghost is ready, literally has everything available with Lahan. <laughs> playing this Necrolordy Evoker business. I don't know how I feel about the Necrolord Evoker. Big Shatter by Lath. Gonna knock back for just a second. Chicago looking for the root. Lath just continued to blast him out. Gonna be a big Dragon's Roar stunning him in place with the target search follower. Doesn't get the crit he needs, but looking for another crit with a center grid. Bad damage. Oh my god, the disintegrate crits. Oh, the disintegrate procs, the eternity surge, empowerment ability, which if that crits, it does quite a bit of damage. It is a 60% reduction. It's not as effective as a real eternity surge, but the fact that it's a free one, even at 60% value, while you're channeling another ability, is quite good. Another disintegrate, Seabus trying not to get disintegrated down, as it's going to be a lad just going for insta cast or channel casting. Mordecai, as the pet is attacking him, needs enough survivability. Lad looking to potential reposition away from Seabus, trying to see if he can charge up with the axe, toss up some place. All these pets are surrounding him got himself a little bit of uh, survivability behind the pillar movement while casting able to reposition away from c bus big living flame c bus taking so much damage gonna be sleepwalking actually gonna be axe on the lath with a quick drain does got himself a wall up and running lath looking to reposition and maybe catch up a little bit of healing definitely needs as much recovery as humanly possible maybe hoping to get another sleep onto c bus he has himself a shield so as soon as the shield is gone that's where lath needs to strike and make his charge happen. Looks like Lath is trying to reposition these boys. He's using the time manipulation ability to reposition Seabus in a different spot. So that's what happened. That's why Seabus tried to run away from Lath last game and just kind of got put back in the open. Big damage, massive master for Lath. Look at the shattered Seabus. Mordecai does meet him. It's going to go for an intro. Living Flame does he have a big go. Massive burst and Lath does end up taking him down. That attorney surge end up landing that crit. That's exactly what he needed. Looking for the recovery is Leroy. Looking to shut this down. He sees this man walking out of Shadowlands. He shakes it after him, trying to see if he can slay him before he gets himself a chance. Gonna be an Infernal dropping in. The center grade onto Leroy does end up slaying the Infernal. 
and it's gonna recover a lot of health. Big disintegrates are giving Lath Walker a lot of survivability. Mad dash towards Lath. Oh my god, a Leroy using that Night Fake Covenant ability, the Shadow Lenses spell to shut down <laughs> Lath Walker. <laughs> Fear onto on who? Is going to be going for a trinket Leroy trying to see if he can catch up a little bit of health here. Going to be a wall out of on who? I see trinkets, thorns, everything. I don't even know this man got much left towards Leroy. Where are covenants working on the beta? So I don't think covenants are working on the beta. I think it's only evoker covenant abilities are, vo are working on the beta. That's a good question. I have no idea. Wait, are all covenant abilities working on the beta? Because they didn't used to. Previously, they didn't used to. I think it's only evoker. Yeah, I think it's only evoker. I did, you, I did you get a second time to find out? Yeah, I guess Chicago's gonna go find out. Because if that's what's going on, I'll be very unhappy. On how trying to go for a bit of Convoke Spirits, trying to get himself a little bit of that survivability. As Leroy got himself that Immolation Aura, Metamorphosis at the ready. Yeah, hopefully none of the Covenant abilities are working. I'm hoping it's just the Evoker thing. Because if it's just the Evoker thing, it's like, okay, well, I guess. But yeah. Stone onto on who? Mad damage out of Leroy. Looking to shut him down. Potentially on who just got all the blades of the last uh, Leroy as he's just sitting in the darkness waiting out there hanging around As Leroy looking to maybe reposition Versus on who trying to get a couple of those items around the corner But on who playing that pillar haunt actually does not to break it root onto Leroy stops him in place mad charge dash onto on who trying to see if he can potentially escape away from Leroy and it's gonna be going down That is super super unfortunate Var trying to see if he can reposition on him looking for that full dot base game pillar. look at this range hunter thrown in grenades definitely not something cheesy or fishy about it which is oh, Leroy was that explosive that killed you? I thought you actually wouldn't cut up okay, but I guess after that feral you were kind of licking your wounds at the end of it, weren't you? I guess you were. Don't be gonna be up next. Grenades get thrown in by Varg. Varg can't go for an entrance. He has to get in the melee for him though. Fing death. Removing all the dots for just a second. He's gonna go for the pet second or to give himself a little bit of survivability. Try to go for a fear of the eagle with a bow. <laughs> Try to poke him with a bow. Sharp end of a bow. Dumpy. Just got all the blast damage versus Varg. Try to go for a bit of healing, but... That Saifi, there's no way it's gonna let you do anything. Maybe you can get a freezing trap onto Dumpy. Try to drop him, but just throws the pet instead. And Dumpy does end up taking him out. All right, I guess let's find out, chat. Do these covenant abilities work inside of Arena? I'll be very upset if they do. I'd be very upset if they do. I got 148 Death Sweep. Oh, yeah, Death Sweep is just kind of nutty, man. Death Sweep from Demon Hunters is just a blaster ability. Let's get another one going, boys, yeah?